National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty here, health expert with nationalnutrition.ca. Have you or someone you know been diagnosed with psoriasis? If so, please tune into what I'm about to say because we're going to cover some of the things you can do to help, you know, either cure or at least manage your psoriasis symptoms. Now, psoriasis is an autoimmune disorder whereby your immune system essentially is attacking itself and what it actually causes is your skin cells to uh, not mature appropriately before they get to the surface and are shed. What this leads to are plaque-like lesions where you get these silver scales of you know, poorly differentiated skin cells and basically what ends up happening is your skin sloughs off too quickly, it doesn't mature appropriately and therefore it doesn't do its job uh, correctly. So that's one of the major issues you're gonna have with psoriasis. Some of the sort of comorbidities we see with psoriasis is psoriatic arthritis, where the autoimmune condition is actually now also attacking the connective tissue that makes up your joints, causing skin problems, as well as an arthritic condition that goes with it. So if you do suffer from psoriasis, there is hope. Um, a lot of studies have recently shown connections to a variety of different things. One of the major ones with psoriasis seems to be an association with a gluten sensitivity. People who suffer from psoriasis do have higher rates of gluten sensitivity than the rest of the population. And for that reason, I typically recommend uh, all of my psoriasis patients to go gluten free. Even if gluten is not the cause of your psoriasis, uh, you know, it's, there's no harm in trying to go gluten free because it just may be related to your condition. And I've actually seen many cases of psoriasis essentially get completely cleared up when people stop ingesting the trigger for their condition. So dietary intervention can be very, very effective. Some people need to go a little bit stricter, and for that, I'll sometimes recommend uh, a diet program known as autoimmune paleo. Uh, basically, it's a diet where you don't eat any grains, you don't eat any dairy, and you don't eat any beans or legumes, and typically avoiding things like the nightshade vegetables, which are your tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, eggplants. Um, though that dietary intervention I found very effective in my practice for helping people manage their psoriasis uh, symptoms and actually in some cases getting rid of lesions altogether. Now, if the diet is, you know, is not enough for you or it's not effective, there are other things you can do to help manage your psoriasis symptoms. Um, you know, because you've got this hyper you know, uh, sloughing off skin, what you really want to do is ensure that you're uh, going to maintain the moisture. And in order to maintain moisture barriers on the skin, oils and fats are very important. What I typically recommend for people are omega-3 fatty acids, specifically something high in EPA or eicosapentaenoic acid. The reason behind this high EPA fish oil that you're looking for is EPA is very anti-inflammatory. And one of the things with psoriasis is it is an inflammatory condition. So taking in a higher EPA fish oil, typically I, I recommend a, you know, a liquid taking about a tablespoon a day um, can be very effective at lowering uh, the severity of the symptoms and reducing lesions. I also typically recommend vitamin D as vitamin D is a very important hormone in managing the immune system and vitamin D deficiencies are associated with psoriasis as well as a variety of other autoimmune conditions. So vitamin D supplementation, typically very important in people with psoriasis, especially if you happen to be living in Canada and suffer from psoriasis, uh, vitamin D deficiency is very prevalent here. So it's really important that we manage uh, your vitamin D deficiencies to help with your psoriasis. Now, other nutrients that are important in psoriasis are zinc and copper. I typically recommend supplementing these two minerals together. And the reason is, is that too much of one or the other they'll outcompete one another and too much zinc can cause a deficiency of copper and vice versa. Therefore, by supplementing them together, you're going to ensure that you don't have any of the depletion of the other and you're going to avoid any of the toxicity symptoms that can be associated with either too much just zinc or too much copper on its own. So if you do suffer from psoriasis, 
you know, try making some of the dietary changes I've recommended, as well as looking into some of the nutrients and supplements that I've recommended that may help you either cure or better manage your psoriasis. So if you like this video, please check out more of our natural health videos. Check out our YouTube channel, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And as always, remember, knowledge is health.